hot. Megan Barris herself as Jackie O. Henderson mocking her using fake voice in Variety interview. Radio host Jackie O. Henderson has accused Meghan Markle of adopting a fake voice in her latest sit-down interview with Variety magazine. Henderson suggested the upbeat, Californian way Meghan speaks during interviews actually makes her seem less likable. It's hard to like Meghan, because she always sounds so insincere, she said on the Kyle and Jackie O. show on Thursday, after listening to a clip of the Duchess of Sussex speaking about her love of playing Scrabble. It sounds like she's got this fake smiley voice all the time and it's grating, she added. Henderson's co-host Kyle Sandilands then took a swipe at the royal by impersonating the way she spoke to Variety. The things you don't know about me, I'm a mean gamer at Scrabble. Please, go away forever, he sneered. I know, I feel like if she just talked normal. You know? Just be normal. Henderson agreed. I bet you're not sitting there with Harry every night going, what should we watch on Netflix? I don't know, let's keep scrolling. She added, doing her own impersonation of Meghan. Like, no one talks like that. She insisted. Channel 9 host Alison Langdon also delivered a brutal verdict on Meghan's variety interview on the Today Show on Thursday. Discussing the Duchess of Sussex's latest PR offensive with the Daily Mirror's royal editor Russell Myers, Langdon couldn't help but scoff after hearing how Meghan had spoken of how she would want to be portrayed in a film or TV show about her life. Myers explained, not only does she mention the fact she was in suits no less than five times during the interview, she also says she would be willing to lend her expertise to one specific actor, and that would be with the person who would potentially play her in a movie. Langdon interjected, hang on, so she is saying, when someone will play me, I will counsel them as to who I am and how to portray, me. I mean, come on. She makes it hard for herself. However, it seems Meghan's statements were slightly overblown. The former Deal or No Deal star actually said she hopes whoever plays her in a movie or television series about her life will find the softness and the playfulness and the laughter as well as the silliness of her personality. I just hope she finds the dimensions, Meghan added, before suggesting the actress could give her a phone call to discuss her portrayal. Langdon's co-host Carl Stefanovic also took a swipe at Meghan's cover shoot for Variety, comparing the photos to a dodgy bikey tattoo. Bikey is an Australian slang term for a member of an outlaw biker gang. In the glossy photos, Meghan is pictured lounging around in a Jason Wu gown worth about $8,300. It looks like it is on someone's bicep. Someone's mum tattooed on their shoulder, Stefanovic said. I can't say I saw it, but now that you have said it, replied Langdon. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have reportedly found themselves completely frozen out of the US following their attempted return. An inside source close to The Spectator issued this shocking insight, via royal commentator Cara Kennedy. The LA source also went on to say, that the main reason for them being excluded is that organizers know that all media attention would be on them and take away from the event or people there to celebrate. Ms. Kennedy further went on to reveal why the reason for Meghan and Harry's lack of an invite is because of their capacity to share. She also went on to admit earlier, you and your partner can buy a mansion in the right zip code, hang out with the right people and say the right things at the right charity events, but that doesn't make you a Hollywood power couple. Modern day stardom is about more than name recognition. It takes charisma, dedication and charm. For all their striving, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just don't have it. Britain has realized this, and Hollywood is starting to realize it too.